morning YouTubers down at the Talbot Express auto sleeper 2.5 diesel and uh, van build I think they call this version and I'm about to do the shock absorbers I look the original ones on the back and um, with the speed bumps in the town where I live it makes sense to um, replace the rear shocks and um, I've got a pair which wasn't too expensive and uh, I'm going to have a go at doing it. It should, touch wood, be straightforward, provided I can get the nuts undone. And uh, yeah, we'll see how we go. Now, I don't know where you can sit, let me put my light on. Just there, there's the bottom nut, and the top one is there. So I'll see if I can loosen that off first, and then I'll have a go at the top one. Which could be a bit tricky, but uh, we'll see how it goes. I haven't got any WD-40, but I've got Wilco's or Wilkinson's Loosen Up Maintenance Spray, which was sprayed on it, and it uh, it seems to have come undone. Well, it's loose anyway, so I shall take it off. Seems to be coming off. Well, it wasn't too bad to come off this side. I haven't done the other side yet, but it's a 20 mil socket for the bottom, and the top one, it's an 18. And uh, it actually don't feel too bad this shock absorber, but it looks pretty um, grotty. So it's definitely getting the new ones. This is what they look like side by side, the new and the old. Okay, that's the first one fitted. Which wasn't too bad. But remember, when using a trolley jack, make sure you've got axle stand. And I've got an axle stand there under the axle just in case anything happens to the jack which it could do because these are not that reliable they do sink after a period of time as I said in another video which means if you're underneath it gradually goes down you can probably find you're stuck and can't get out but uh, yeah so that's one down second one to do I'm now working on the offside similar why brush the, the end of the thread easing fluid or penetrating fluid and then it loosens off which it is do that's done that's number two off that bolt was a bit needed a bit more persuasion but it's off and uh, so time to fit the second new one okay so that's the wheels back on both rear shock absorbers changed. Wasn't too bad a job. Uh, yeah, so oh, what have I done in the lifetime of the van? New discs, new pads, new brake shoes, new flexible hoses, new engine mounts, drive shaft oil seals. Uh, yeah loads but still it's still within my budget of owning an old van so thanks for watching please subscribe and like bye